Hey, what is up everybody? Logie Bear here. Before we hop in today's video, I just wanted to remind you guys that this is your last chance to get entered to win your choice of a brand new First Sight Foundry pant. First Sight just barely came out with these pants. In fact, that is what today's video is about. It is us covering these pants, the pros, and why we think that these pants are awesome. So before we hop into the video, if you guys have not already, make sure to join our text VIP club. If you haven't joined our text VIP club, now is the time to do it. We are going to be choosing a random winner. We are gonna be choosing not one, not two, but three random win winners who will be able to choose which pair of pants they would like. There are three different pairs they make and you can choose which pair you want. You'll learn more about that in this video later, but if you have not already, make sure you're entered into our VIP club, not just for this giveaway, but future giveaways. If you guys are listening to this and you've already entered, this is for the people that are not a member of our text VIP club. So to get entered for this giveaway and future giveaways, all you have to do is text hush foundry, one word to the number 29 071. And you will be entered to not only win a pair of First Light Foundry pants, but also future giveaways. We've given away a ton of different things, you guys, and this is no purchase necessary. All you have to do is be a member of our text group. So with that being said, welcome to the video. All right, guys, welcome. I am here to show off the brand new line of pants from First Light for the 2021 season. These are the new Foundry line. There are gonna be three different models. We're gonna go through and kind of show you early season to late season, what we like about the new pants, and maybe what we would pair it with depending on what season we're hunting. So first is the brand new Obsidian Foundry pant. I really like this pant. Um, it's made up of mostly merino steel, which is great because it helps regulate temperature, obviously, which merino does. Uh, it doesn't stink, which merino does. But it's also been reassured in some of the high friction zones, such as the crotch, the butt, the knees and the lower leg with stretchable, super durable nylon. Also some of the other things I like about it, it has a little knife holder that's added. It's got double-sided cargo pockets, which is a must. I always stuff everything in my cargo pockets. It also has a brand new suspender system here where you can actually see it connects here in the back, which I typically take the, the suspenders off and run the pants with a belt, but you can choose that. So some of the things I would match up with this pant because this is the early season pant. So depending on how your body regulates heat, I'm a pretty hot guy, I get pretty sweaty, so I keep things pretty minimal early season. I'm talking early August when we're chasing mule deer, or even in September when we're chasing elk. This is my staple piece early season. This is just the uh, wick hoodie, super light, merino, once again, so I can sweat like I do. It doesn't stink, helps regulate temperature. And then what I throw on top over that in the mornings, if it's a little brisk, is the uh, Catalyst Soft Shell. This is probably one of my favorite coats, but I love it when it's a little cool in the morning or glassing, throw it on, keep me warm. As soon as we start hiking, I throw this off. And this is really all I'm wearing in early season. Let's talk about that mid-season wear. I'm talking October deer hunts, anything out between summer and winter, right in that middle fall era. This is gonna be what I think is gonna be the best all around pant. This is right in the middle. It's thick enough to keep you warm, yet thin enough that you're not gonna overdo it. This is based on the Corrugate Guide Pant. This is the Corrugate Foundry. Um, the Guide Pants are one of my favorites. Some of the features on these guys are the same as the other. You have the reinforced material on the knees, which is waterproof, and if you guys have felt the first like Sawbuck pants, it is that same material they use on those, but waterproof in the butt, waterproof on the knees. Um, they do have knee pads, which are removable, which you can do in the field. They don't remove from the top, they remove from the bottom, so you can roll your pants up, take the pad out if you would like. You don't have to take your pants off to take the pad out, which is nice. Um, the cargo pockets are on the front, just like the late season pants, and pretty much the same features just based off of the Corgate Guide pants. So if you really like the Corgate Bad Guide pants, you're gonna really like these. So on these pants, you are also equipped with the heat dump side vents. Um, these are great, you know, if you're hiking up, and you're getting hot, you dump your heat. And also the same knife holder or clip holder. If you have a flashlight or a knife, you can clip on nice 
So being in Idaho, what I would pair these with is you never really know what the weather's gonna do depending on the hunt that you are doing. It could snow out of nowhere or it could be hot the entire hunt. So under these bad boys, um, since they do have the heat dump, I'm not gonna be scared to throw on some long johns. These are the first like Glenbrooks. They're three quarters. So if you have higher boots and socks, um, they only go down to your shin, so you're not getting all miscombobulated with your socks and long johns. So I'd wear those underneath my pants, and then up top, I would go with a wick long sleeve. On top of the wick long sleeve, the Klamath, which is a great three-quarter zip. So if you're getting hot, you can unzip, cool off, or ditch this completely if the sun wants to come out. And then those early morning glassing sessions you tend to be a little bit more chilly. Um, this is the Brooks Down. This is like a step down from the Chamberlain. It's more of a micro puffy. Plus, when it is time to shed this, it's easy to fold up and pack into your backpack. So that's the that would be my mid-season getup. Um, Casey, why don't you tell us about your late season getup? All right, guys. So let's talk about late season. This is the brand new Catalyst Foundry pant. This pant is based off the Catalyst soft shell pant, which if you've ever worn, it's like you're wearing pillows around your legs. They're very comfortable. What I like about this pant is, you know, it's based off the Catalyst Soft Show, which I absolutely love, but it has actually, once again, it has the reinforced knee pads, which are removable. If you don't love knee pads, you can pull those out, but you still have the waterproof here, you know, waterproof on the butt as well. These pants come with, this is important, even if it's super cold, you get to start hiking, you get hot. It has a full length zipper to air out those bad boys when it gets a little warm. It also has the reinforced double-sided cargo pockets, but they are on the front, which I like, I don't mind them at all. Um, two pockets up there, like most first light pants, but that allows for the full length zipper system on the side. Now, what would I pair this with in the late season? I'm talking late November, December, snow on the ground, it's cold outside, you're trying to stay as warm as possible and bundled up. So for base layers, I would definitely go with um, the furnace layering system. This is a really heavy duty long john. It's gonna keep you the most warm. I'd throw those on. Maybe I'd throw maybe a wick uh, short sleeve under this. Once again, I run pretty hot. I wanna stay warm, but I wanna overdo it. And then probably I'd just throw on a Chamberlain. This is the warmest coat First Light makes. I absolutely love this coat. Super comfortable and it will keep you warm. And you can always add to this, you know. First Light is definitely based off a of layering system. So if you run a little cooler than I do, you could add a couple more layers and guarantee you, you're gonna stay warm and hunt hard. All right guys, that was our quick rundown of the new Foundry system. We're super excited about these pants. We think you guys will enjoy them too. Um, they will be ready March 22nd, except for the Catalyst, which won't be ready for purchase until early this summer, so check back for that. But go to firstlight.com, March 22nd, pick you up a pair, you will not regret it. Trust me. Pants party.